Make sure to join my Discord server with the link in the description. You can talk and meet me there. Also submit your clips. It's at all. What else do you want from me? Let's start with the standard pistol. It has a fire rate of 8, a reload time of 1.25 and a magazine size of 12. The damage is pretty normal. I mean it's a freaking pistol. Next is the silenced pistol. It has the same fire rate and reload time as the standard pistol. With 14 bullets instead of 12. The damage of it is a bit less than the pistol. If I had to pick between the two I would usually just pick the higher rarity one. Here is the super strong and really accurate heavy pistol. With a magazine size of 8, 1.75 reload time and a fire rate of 2.75. It is currently the strongest pistol in the game. And finally we have my favorite pistol. The revolver. The revolver contains 6 shots with a fire rate of 5 and a reload time of 1.75. It damages a bit less than the heavy pistol, but in my mind I would prefer a better fire rate and lose a bit of damage. The next category of guns are the rifles. Let's start with the tactical rifle. With a fire rate of 5.75 it is currently the fastest shooting rifle in the game. It has a reload time of 1.75 and has 30 shots in it. The next gun is the step brother of the tactical rifle, the assault rifle. This gun has a fire rate of 5 and reload time of 1.65 with a magazine size of 30. It damages a bit more than the tactical rifle, but if you are gonna go for more damage over faster shooting I would suggest using the... The heavy assault rifle is a better version of the assault rifle. With more damage and an extra 10 bullets, I would take that and just deal with the 2.25 reload time and the 4.45 fire rate. Next up is the burst rifle. The most disgusted rifle of the game. With a slower fire rate than any rifle at 1.25 and the weakest damage of them all. The 1.5 reload time doesn't help. And finally we have the thermal scoped rifle. The only scoped rifle in the game since Lord Judd removed the normal scoped rifle. With a fire rate of 2.25 and an ammo capacity of 20 and a reload time of 2. It's a pretty good choice if you don't have a sniper. However you will have to predict your opponent's movement since this gun isn't a direct hit bullet. Note your damage will also vary from 48.75 to 56.875 depending on how close you are to your opponent. So let's start with the all popular pump shotgun. This shotgun contains 8 bullets, has a fire rate of 1.3 and a reload time of 2.5. The damage is pretty balanced for a shotgun. After that we have the fastest shooting shotgun, the tactical shotgun. It has a magazine size of 12, has a fire rate of 2, and has a reload time of 1.35, the fastest of the shotguns. It damages a bit less than the other guns, but it makes up for it in at lower spread and fire rate. The final real shotgun we have in Island Royal is, the heavy shotgun. It is currently the strongest shotgun in the game, with a magazine size of 6, a fire rate of 1.35 and a reload time of 2.25.
It damage that this gun deals, makes up for its slow fire at and ammo capacity. Now I said before, that the heavy shotgun was the strongest shotgun. But actually the blunderblast gun does more damage. The reason why I don't really count it for a shotgun is, because of the way it functions. As you know it has a huge knockback effect on the player who uses it, and also it only has an ammo capacity of 1 with a fire rate of 1 and a reload time of 2.75. Here is a tip. If you are fighting someone, and you are getting low, use the blunderblast to knock you away from your opponent and maybe having the chance to damage them at the same time. For the SMGs let's start with the ordinary submachine gun. With a magazine size of 30, a reload time of 2 seconds, and a fire rate of 9. It's a pretty reliable weapon. After that we got the stealthy SMG, the silenced submachine gun. With a magazine size of 35, a reload time of 1.85 and a fire rate of 11. I would take the faster shooting and reload time and just lose a bit of damage. Right after that we got the slower yet stronger SMG, the heavy submachine gun. With a fire rate of 7 and a reload time of 2 with a magazine size of 30. It all comes down to what you prefer. Faster shooting or more damage. Next we got the very popular Tommy gun. The Tommy gun is a weapon that shoots at a fire rate of 10, has a magazine size of 40, but takes 3 seconds to reload. It is basically a stronger version of the ordinary submachine gun, but takes longer to reload. Finally we have the very hated minigun. This disaster contains 80 bullets, shoots at a fire rate of 13 and takes 6 seconds to reload. I have nothing else to say. Let's go to the next category. Let's start with the OG sniper. The bolt action sniper has a fire rate of 1 and a reload time of 1.5. It's a pretty reliable weapon with its two shot capability and faster reload time than the heavy sniper. Next we have the strongest sniper in the game. With a reload time slower than you trying to predict a default's movements. You really need to make sure you have a good shot or you will just be wasting your time. If you don't want to wait I would suggest just taking the bolt action sniper. After that we have the least popular sniper, the semi-auto sniper. Defaults love this thing. They usually think more ammo means better. It's the weakest of the scope snipers, but it has 6 bullets, a fire rate of 0.65 and a reload time of 2.5. I wouldn't really recommend taking this, unless it's legendary or it's mythic and maybe it's a fun epic. May I introduce you the no-scope machine. This beauty contains 10 bullets, a reload time of 2.25 and a fire rate of 0.85. You will be able to hit anybody in the head with this gun, is what everyone thinks when using it. What really happens, is they miss all their shots. Even more than the stormtroopers in Star Wars. Here is the blunderblast's stupid little brother. Less knockback, less chance of hitting people and less movement potential. The only things it has on the blunder is a 1 second less of a reload time than the blunder and more damage. I fear no man, but that thing... It scares me. Where do I even start with this? The rocket launcher is completely broken. It will sometimes go through your builds, the explosion radius is not consistent at all, and the damage is absolutely madness. 
the fire rate of 0.5 and the reload time of 2 seconds only don't change a thing of how overpowered it is. Hashtag nerf the rocket launcher. Next we got the blast grenade. This throwable will deal 20 damage to you and the enemy if you are close to it. Like the name says it can also knock you back really far. After we have a new acid bomb. The bomb will deal 5 damage to the player per half a second for 15 seconds. 